Now, if you're a Democrat, there's no way you can feel good about the last two years of absolute power because the report card says it's been a colossal fail with America's trust in our government at a historic all-time low. Everything the Democrats have touched of late, a disaster. Now, if you look at crime, for example, it is raging in every major city, out of control. It's insane. Americans are struggling to make ends meet with record inflation. You see the numbers that just came in? It hit a fresh 40-year high. Every item when I go food shopping is 20% more post-COVID. So it's, it's tough out there for everybody. It doesn't seem to be stopping in the oil and gas. I don't see that, you know, mitigating, so. Uh, either do they, by the way. It's at 8.6% in terms of inflation. And there's shortages of essentials we clearly took for granted. There is an incompetent response. Why does shutting down one baby formula factory lead us to Soviet-style bare shelves? Yeah, that was me last week. I liked my hair better then. You can't help but wonder, are Democrats actually trying to score in their own goal? Now, if you look at what the Democrats have done, you would think America is heading in such a wrong direction, you almost have to hide your disbelieving eyes. But actually, I see, drum roll please, hope. And this is why. With the successful recall of criminal first homeless rights for all DA, Chesa Bodine gone, ousted by 30 points in liberal San Francisco. Next stop, George Gascon in Los Angeles. And in November, perhaps four more hideous DAs will go. Suddenly, just maybe criminals will do time for their many crimes. And I see hope with school boards pushing back against world curriculums, first in Virginia and now nationwide. They are determined, our parents, to take back the classroom. Notice I didn't say politicians or parties. I'm even seeing hope and courage in sports. Players speaking out on issues instead of just shutting up or kneeling down, i.e. baseball. Some players in the Tampa Bay Rays proudly not taking part in Pride Month because it's against their religious beliefs. What's the problem with that? And Commanders Coordinator Jack Del Rio speaking out on issues because it occurred to him that he really does have freedom of speech. I'm just expressing myself. And uh, I think we all as Americans have the right to express ourselves, especially if you're being respectful. I'm being respectful. He is. So my question to you, do you look at this country and see the glass half empty like our prisons? Or do you see it half full, a country to get back on track right now, finally heading in the right direction. You can probably guess I'm in the hopeful camp, yes. But either, uh, either I get in the hopeful camp now and you join me or you rebuke me. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.